All right, what is up guys? Sorry, it's stuff on my camera lens. Okay, so what's up guys? Today we are going to be taking the stock shifter off of the CD009 and uh, putting the new one on. So uh, I'll show you guys my new shifter here in just a little bit, but uh, let me go ahead and first show you the most agonizing part about this. I've been working on it for a little bit and I found the right way to do this, I think. So here we go. Everybody knows the worst part about this is not the bolts to take this off, but more or less the cotter pin that is on the shaft that connects this thing. So uh, you have to pop that cotter pin out so that way this will let go. And there are two cotter pins inside of each other. So I found the right size screwdriver. Let's see, this is Phillips head, a Phillips head zero sized screwdriver. Put that in this hole hammer it until the cotter pin comes out the back. So I'm gonna finish doing that and then I'll show you afterwards what I'm talking about. All right guys, second pin came out with a slightly larger Phillips head and then that'll show you. I got both of them out right here. These are technically, people call them cotter pins, I think is what I've heard some people refer to them as. But what it really is is a roller pin and this is actually a double roller pin. So the right tool for this is a roller pin removal set. But uh, like I said, any size screwdriver that can just fit in there and get pressure against it will work. Uh, a little bit of WD-40 goes a long way. Uh, just spray it slightly in the hole and then let it sit for a second and just hammer that bitch out. And then other than that, you just remove these and then it should just slide straight off. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off now. And just like that, the stock shifter is off and out. So... Now we're gonna go inside, grab our new shifter, and I'll show you guys exactly what we got. All right guys, this is our new shifter. This is the excessive manufacturing relocation shifter. Uh, this is a rear mount, so this will go on the rear housing, kind of somewhat like the stock one did, just not as far. Um, this should work with our application based on the measurements that, uh, based on the measurements I did, just rough measurements it should roundabout fit and if if not it should uh at least work and be able to be modified so uh, anyways um there's not really a shifter guaranteed to work on this thing that's not ridiculously expensive or all-inclusive what i mean by that is like everybody recommends the serial 9 shifter but to use the serial 9 shifter it lines up only when you use the serial 9 mounting adapter and stuff like that and that shit is too damn expensive for what it is it's like really just really expensive so anyways uh this is the excessive manufacturing shifter looks like quality pieces and so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this thing and slap this old girl onto the transmission and i'll show you guys what to do from there okay so this is going to be where our new shifter bolts to and uh, i went ahead and assembled the shifter so this is what it looks like the other rod goes over the top for the shifter pivot arm so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and install this and we'll see how it lines up with the actual shifter linkage knob thing with Jiggy itself. Okay, so we have this piece right here. This needs to get installed just over that. You go ahead and put your roller pins in and then the rest is pretty much cake. You just uh, put that down like that and mount the transmission and then it'll be connected. So now we're just gonna go ahead and go through the agonizing part of reinstalling that because I'm sure it's probably not gonna be any fun. All right, fellas, just like that, she's in there. Let's go ahead and finish this transmission shifter install up, shall we? All right, guys, so we got it installed, that's it. This is our excessive manufacturing rear mount short throw. Uh, it's gonna definitely take some getting used to. It's, it seems to be pretty hard to find fifth and sixth. And then reverse is way over here and down. But the first through fourth are very easy to move through, so that's pretty cool. And uh, the throw is very short. Definitely shorter than my uh, FRS throw. And the uh, FRS is widely known to have a very good shifter feel for the most part. So, Anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more if you haven't already if you don't mind me asking. Um, we have some more stuff coming on the way. Uh, I have to go buy a new drill, so that way I'll have enough space to be able to drill in the firewall for the uh, manual clutch master cylinder. That is the last thing that we need to do to have this car uh, six-speed manual transmission capable. Um, there might be a few things we do to clean up the actual engine itself, 
but for the most part i think we are getting on the home stretch of all of this uh so yeah just need to go ahead and uh get that drilled so i can get my clutch pedal mounted and the master cylinder mounted and then i'm going to order and install a remote bleeder for this uh it's a t56 slave cylinder we're using and uh that should be it on the list of things needed for this swap so anyways appreciate you guys for watching and uh sticking around short video today uh i really enjoy working on this thing and uh if you guys enjoy watching it if you don't mind like i said subscribe for more we got some pretty cool stuff coming hopefully have this thing boosting and on its way pretty soon we can start doing turbo things so anyways other than that guys i hope you all have a wonderful day peace out